Hello everyone, welcome to the second week of renovations in our new house. Where we left off last week is that we ripped out the built-in cabinets on the first floor and currently don't have a wall between our two bedrooms. Yesterday, we kind of on a whim um, bought a dinner table, which actually turned out great. It's second hand, we found it online and it is huge. I don't know if you can tell, but it is um, two meters, 20 centimeters wide, which means I can easily lie down on it. Yeah, it really is very, very big. And we're very happy to have it. This will easily seat six to eight people. We got a really good deal for it. And um, the previous owner even brought it over here. That was my biggest issue with getting secondhand furniture. We don't have really have a way to transport it, but this guy um, took it over to us, which was perfect. We are planning on darkening it a little bit because I feel like it doesn't really go with the floor right now. The colors are too similar yet different to look good. So we would like to maybe darken it to this color, the color that the door is right now. I think that would be nice. So yeah, we just need chairs to go with that. My sister-in-law is here today. Um, she and Robert are working on the top floor and removing the built-in wardrobes there because we are also getting the ceilings replaced there. And I think today we might start actually tearing down the ceilings. <laughs> I'm scared, but it needs to happen sooner or later. So might as well do it sooner. morning I am here alone today so um, yeah let me show you what happened yesterday when Robert's sister was here this is our roof which is now exposed oh boy oh boy oh boy ew 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 <gasps> okay yeah they did mention I might have to clean up today but This is um, quite intense. Let me open the windows. Okay, so we're gonna insulate all of this and depending on how thick the insulation is, um, we might have to actually cover the beams, which I'm also really, really sad about because I love those beams. We're gonna see if we can find thin insulation material, but the priority is of course to do it properly and to actually have the house insulated. This is where my favorite built-in wardrobe was, the one with all the little doors. I'm really really sad about that one, but it was thoroughly um, fixed to that board that needed to go and also to the asbestos flooring. So for this one as well, there was just no hope. Yeah, this is the current state of my studio. <laughs> and to think I was actually hoping to start filming here in a couple of weeks might take a little longer than we expected. <laughs> what I'm going to do today, since I am not up to big tasks like ripping out ceilings on my own, I don't think that's safe or wise to do. Um, I am gonna start working on the bathroom down here and painting that green. I think when that is done, we'll have at least one room that looks better than when we started. Although I am just realizing that we will have to remove the ceilings here as well, so it's, um, I don't know. <sighs> time for a little break. I have been making a point of taking a little bit of time every day throughout these renovations to just quiet down, <laughs> take a little moment, de-stress, let go of some of that pressure. I mean, a renovation like this is a lot. We have never done something like this before. We only have next week and then the week after that we move. So yeah, given that we currently still don't have the ceilings or walls in some places, it is quite a lot. And as you guys know, I, I get stressed quite easily. I get overwhelmed easily. 
and I get anxious quite easily. So it has been really important to me to also take a little bit of time, take a step back and relax for a bit. And I have actually been using this app. It is called Aura and Aura are very kindly sponsoring this video, but I have actually been using this every day since I installed it. Aura is a relaxation, meditation, sleep guide app. And there's a bunch of features there. There is uh, music, white noise, kind of like soundscapes. They have uh, meditations, as I mentioned. They have stories. Everything is read in really nice and calming voices by the creators that are on this app. You have a personalized homepage where they have recommendations that are made especially for you. So there is this uh, discover tab, sleep mix, stress mix. These are mine because this is, um, these are the things that I said I wanted to focus on. So I like to listen to one of the uh, sleep meditations or sleep stories for bed but also you know throughout the day during the day i like to pick something from the anxiety mix <laughs> so you get this kind of playlist that you can choose from and i can choose how long i want my tracks to be or i can just play some of that music or white noise soundscape and everything is made by expert coaches and therapists from all around the world they have lots of different accents actually in the app which is really nice for a little bit of variation and just doing this once or twice every day has worked miracles for my stress levels so if you'd also like to try this app it is completely free to get started if you use the link in my description box the first 500 people to click that will get a free trial and 25 percent off of their subscription and this offer is exclusive to that link in the description so definitely be sure to use that i'm gonna pick out one of the anxiety <laughs> relieving tracks now i think just a little short one and then get back to work There's been a change of plans. I don't know what to do with this ceiling because we are getting the ceilings replaced, of course. Um, and I'm not sure where this ceiling is going to end and where the new one's going to be. So I didn't know where to paint. Um, and my friend next said that she could came over. She could come over today, so she came over and we ended up sanding one of the. Um... I am starting to notice that my English vocabulary is quite limited <laughs> more limited than i thought what do you call this thing um, that you use to support yourself on when you're walking up the stairs that like bar <laughs> anyways we uh sand it down one of those completely removed the paint um we stripped the paint off with a heat gun and then we sanded it down and now it's beautiful all wooden and we're gonna stain it um probably a similar color to again the door so that we have matching wood everywhere yeah by the way we decided that we do actually like the color of this door and if it is more incorporated into the rest of the interior then we would really like to keep the door as it is but anyways i am heading home now because we have our second um, kitchen appointment with the people at ikea so we're gonna walk through the final details and then we'll know when they're gonna come and install it for us and when we need to remove our old kitchen so yeah, I'm off home and I'll be back tomorrow with Robert and we're gonna probably tear down some more ceilings again. Update on the kitchen situation. Excuse the noise, I'm in Amsterdam, as you can clearly hear. <laughs> oh, do you understand why we want to move? Anyways, um, the lady that helped us today told us that the white or cream kitchen cabinets, upper cabinets, aren't being phased out at all and the other um, guy that helped us last time just understood it wrong. Apparently these are just getting changed for different ones or something. I don't know. Anyway, she said that they should definitely still be available. So we have a new design. She also changed around some other things, put the oven closer to the worktop, which should be safer when you're carrying um, heavy hot things. You don't want to have to go around the fridge. She changed the direction of the fridge doors so that they now open into the kitchen instead of the other way around. And we now have a full row of upper cabinets with a built-in extraction hood right here. And since this has to be a closed cabinet, we also have one here above the sink because um, the lady said that if you are pouring hot water in here, then the 
windows might steam up and become dirty and damaged more quickly. I am not a hundred percent sold on the look of open cabinets combined with closed cabinets. So I'm not entirely sure if this is what we'll end up going for, but everything else is great. She also lined up some of the bottom cabinets so that this look is more consistent here. Yeah, she also lowered the upper cabinets a little bit. And all in all, yeah, we are still very happy with this design and I love that we now have the actual cream upper cabinets. I like the gray, but I think this will go with the rest of the house much nicer and just look more cohesive in general and be more timeless than the half gray half cream look. So we haven't ordered the actual kitchen yet. We did make an appointment with the people that are going to come and measure the space in our house to make sure this um, kitchen actually fits. And after they have been then we'll make all the final decisions and actually order the kitchen. So I will keep you updated on that. here there has been an exciting development our contractor just called and he is coming by tomorrow with one of the guys that is going to put in our new ceiling and apparently sorry I just ran up the stairs <laughs> apparently they should be able to start putting in the new ceilings as early as next week which we never expected in a hundred years because um, if they actually do it next week, then we might have ceilings before we move in, which I didn't even dare to dream of. But that would be fantastic. So we just have to make sure because the asbestos guys are also coming next week to remove this stuff. So um, yeah, as long as we make sure that those two aren't working in the same room on the same day, should be fine and we should have everything done or the biggest most kind of dirty and big jobs done before we actually move which is insane because we are on such a tight schedule but even if it doesn't completely get done before we move the fact that it's that it started and at least some rooms will have ceilings is just perfect i also got a call from the um kitchen delivery and assembly people at ikea and they are also coming next week to measure the size of our kitchen and see if everything fits that we've ordered. I need to clean off these bits of roof. We spent today mostly just clearing out all the rooms, um, bringing all the wood down into the garden. Everything's in the garden right now. Luckily, it's amazing weather. We have really, really great, great weather. It's been really nice and warm and sunny, so we can have everything in the garden we have most of the things under the um, on the patio underneath that glass ceiling so yeah we are doing really really well this weekend uh, we're gonna have to tear out all the ceilings I'm really glad we got a head start on this and just just started doing it despite not knowing when they were gonna come put them back in again but this weekend we have invited lots of friends <laughs> 
lots of people every day to come and help us tear out and remove all of the ceilings so that the professionals can get started next week and if everything works out it's going to be perfect we're going to be rid of the asbestos we're going to be rid of the dangerous fire hazard ceilings and we can get started on actually making this place look better instead of worse <laughs> which is what we've been doing so far but yeah i am very hopeful very excited and i will keep you updated And that is where I left off. So our contractor offered to also build that wall so that we don't have to do that ourselves, which I think is actually a really good idea because I was very worried about that. They are gonna repair anything that got damaged in during the removing of the ceilings and they're gonna put in the ceilings for us, including built-in um, lights and light fixtures wherever necessary. And yeah, I'm sure that's gonna be great. I'm, we're just waiting to hear back uh, when exactly they are coming over should be sometime next week and we will be moving very shortly the week after there is one more week to do stuff before we actually move in and i am very nervous but it's gonna be okay <laughs> oh something i didn't show you we also went to a sofa seller place um a sofa chair store and we bought dining chairs so we got a set of three chairs to go on one side of the dining table and then we got a bench to go on the other side and we picked out the most soft and amazing yeah, dining bench I have ever sat on and it is gonna be so good. I am so excited for that. We're gonna be able to seat the entire D&D party. Everyone's gonna have seats and we're gonna have extra chairs for when people come over and we have more than six people but it's still the two of us in this home, so we probably won't need more than six places at the table very often. But anyways, <laughs> we ordered those. They're gonna take a couple months to make and to be delivered to our house, but at least they are ordered and being made. We went for this beautiful um, cream-colored fabric for them. The chairs and the bench are not from the same line, but we are getting them made in the same fabric so that should hopefully tie them together a little bit that is where i'm gonna leave you with this vlog um as i mentioned one more week of renovations before we move in and i have no idea 
yet what state the house is going to be in once we do move but we will also have to start packing next week so we have to hand in the keys to this place then as well so oh, i feel like we started out at a really fast pace and just everything keeps speeding up even more <laughs> oh, i am ready for all this to be over but soon soon and it's going well so thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it again thank you for following along don't forget to follow me over on instagram for more real-time updates and i will see you again very soon in the next one bye